everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from the new Flesh Eater Quartz Army set. Yes, we are back with another more gaunt painting tutorial, and this time we are painting the brand new Vargulf Courtier. He is. <laughs> Look at him. To the Flesh Eater Quartz, he's a noble beast. Well, a noble figure, but to everybody else, he's an absolute menace. It's a fantastic model, and I think it looks amazing. Thank you so much to Games Workshop for sending me this one earlier as part of the army set. And, uh, well, we're going to jump in and we're going to start painting him now. He has been primed in white scar, just like the rest of our Flesh Eater Quartz army set. And the colour we're going to be using first, because we are doing more gaunt, is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Lamia Medium and Agrax Earth Shade. I'm going to be applying this over the top of all of the flesh. So I'm just going to start back here for a change, <laughs> change of scenery. And we're going to get this all over the top. We're going to go over the top of all of the skin. There's no having to avoid any bits or anything like that. What we do want to do though, let's just try and get a nice smooth finish here. We're just being careful with how much we're putting on our brush at once. Moving around any dark pools. Keeping a good eye out for that kind of thing. We can take it in sections here. Thankfully, he is divided up quite nicely by all the fur. So we can come in from the back here and get this all over. Now, when I say there are no parts to avoid, I kind of mean it. <laughs> but what area we are going to avoid are the like kind of membranes between the joints. So there's one just here, as you can see, which we've successfully avoided. I'm gonna paint this all up the spine. We will just go in, do these large kind of bony bits there. Just like that. And whilst you're getting all of that Agrax Earth Shade applied, it's time for me to tell you about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Serious Readers. I've talked about them in the past, so you guys already know I really believe in their stuff. So when Serious Readers asked me to check out their high definition Gemini table light, you know I absolutely had to. It uses all the same great stuff as their floor light, especially their proprietary daylight wavelength technology to replicate the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible, which makes a big difference on your eyes. The biggest feature here though is that it's not one, but two light engines on separate flexible arms. Giving you optimal coverage of your painting space, a light source to share with someone else, or a perfect setup for taking photos of your miniatures. They're built right here in the UK as Serious Readers is a British company pioneering research into improving sight through shedding better light, relying on replicating the natural daylight spectrum that our eyes have evolved to use. They offer a five-year warranty and are recommended by over 500 independent opticians. 
They're also super cool folks with excellent customer service. So much so that when I asked for a colder bulb, they sent me one, or in this case two, along with two diffusers to make my life even better. Check out Serious Readers today, and if you pick one up and use offer code SR489, you can get £100 off high definition lights and free delivery. Find out more in the links below. So with all of that Agrax Earthshade and Lamia Medium Mix applied, what we're now going to do is take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the fur. Now one thing to point out just here, you've got a couple of bits where the fur is a little bit bare because there's some sores underneath. So we just want to avoid those. So there's one quite large one just there. There's a little small one just there as well. And then on this side, you can see it as well. There's another one there. Like that. Just going to avoid those for now. Otherwise, we're going to apply the Black Legion over all of the fur present on the model. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to apply this over a couple of different details. So firstly, I'm going to apply this over the top of those membrane sinews on his arms and legs. just like that one there. We've got the one just behind it as well. But what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of those kind of open sores we've got here and here. Here. like this sort of thing and then what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of his tongue and the inside of the mouth And with all that flesh terror is red now applied, we're going to take some skeleton horde. I'm going to apply this to his bones. like that and then similarly we're also going to apply this over the top of 
those spiny bits. That skeleton horde applied. We're now going to take some wild wood. I'm going to apply this over the top of the teeth, the eyes, and the claws. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on the Vargul Courtier. Now this is usually where we would do our shades, but before we do those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a relayer. And this is going to be some thinned down pallid witch flesh. And we're going to use this to relayer all of the skin. And we want this to be nice and bright and gaunt and horrible. So we'll start back here on the leg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick out all of the muscles all of the skin, just avoiding anywhere where our shades have settled. So any, any recesses and things like that. Just like this. So with that now done, we have a sufficiently bright and lovely Vargolf Courtier. Well, he's not lovely, he's pretty horrible. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to add those shades. The first of these is going to be some Caraberg Crimson. But what I've done is I've taken four brush loads of it and put it on a palette. And then I've taken one brush load of Lamia Medium just to improve the flow a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the feet and the hands. But we're going to do a bit of blending. But first what we want to do is we just want to get it on there up to the wrist like so. I'll do the inside as well. Like this, just to kind of compartmentalize this a little bit. Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we take a little bit of the Caraberg Crimson. I'm gonna apply this going up the wrist to around about there. Then we're going to wash the brush and then we'll take most of the water off and we're going to blend it into the rest of the arm just like that so it fades up the arm just like that what we're also going to do with the caraberg crimson is we're going to use this to shade our Fresh Terra's red areas. That's okay to use the thinned down stuff. Uh, what we also need to do is the inside of his arm. Nearly forgot that. So we're going to take that, 
up to there, wash the brush, and then do that little blendy blendy thing, like so. And then we're going to continue on. But what we're going to do as well is around the face, you see this little kind of sinew. I'm going to apply this over that and the tip of his chin. And then bring it back here as well. And bring it up over the nose and the eyebrow. Like this. Bring it down the other side as well. Get it over the back of the chin. Wash the brush. And then we're going to blend it over the rest of the head. Just like that. And we'll do a foot just for good measure. So I'm going to take the caribou crimson and again go up to the ankle there like that on one side. And then we're going to do it on the other as well. Again, just to make this a little bit more manageable. Like that. And then we're going to come up the leg. Like that, wash the brush. And then blend it out. And then naturally, do the other side as well. Because this time we don't forget to do it. <laughs> So with that now done, our Vargolf courtier is at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. He looks sick. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to add some highlights. And the first of these is going to be some thinned down storm vermin fur. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the fur. Now you could dry brush this if you want to, but it doesn't take that long to do it this way. As you can see, you start off quite precise with it. And then once your paint sort of kind of starts to dry on the brush, slash once you've used some of it up, and then just turn the brush sideways and start kind of doing a dry brush in some ways.
So with all that storm vermin fur applied, what we're then going to do is take some Karak stone. I'm going to very gently dry brush this over the top of all of the kind of outward facing fur. We don't need to do this on the underside of the belly. We're just going to add a little hint of brown in there. So with that done, the fur is now all finished. So what we can do is move on to the next biggest area, which is of course all of the skin. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down white scar. And before we do the skin, we're going to take a small, tiny little amount of this. And we're going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like that. Really, really diddy amounts. Thankfully, the eyeballs are quite big on this one. Just like that. Then, as mentioned, we're going to highlight all the skin. Now, what we don't need to do is go right down to the hands and feet. We can just stick to the upper areas. And what we're looking to do is just pick out kind of the edges of the muscles. And as I'm doing here, the ears and the head and all that good stuff. Now we can highlight all of the face We don't need to go down into the hands. But just take your time. And once all that's done, we'll come back. So with that all done, the pale skin is now all finished. He's looking pretty close to being done. But before we can declare him done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Wazdaka red. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the red. And with that Wazdaka red applied, we're then going to take a little bit of squig orange. I'm going to apply this to the sharpest areas in all the red. So 
So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight to the teeth and the claws. You can highlight the bones if you want, but honestly, they look good as they are. So with that done, as a final flourish for our Vargulf courtier, what we're going to do is we're going to take some blood for the blood god. And we're going to apply this inside those sores. Like this, to make them look very wet and sore. Like so. We're also around the base of these bones. Going to add some of the blood for the blood god. Like that, you can add a little bit of this to the teeth as well, inside the mouth, like that sort of thing. And if you're feeling fancy, add some to the fingers. that and you can also add this over the top of any scars you want to kind of look a little bit fresher you really don't need very much though to do that just like that Now that our model is of course finished, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the base. So we're going to start off by taking some Sterland mud and we'll be applying this all over the top of all of the negative space. So with all our sterling mud applied, what we're going to do is we're going to paint in these rocks next. And we're going to use two colours to do this, Black Templar and Griff Charger Grey. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some Black Templar. I'm going to pick a place to start and we shall start just here on this rock. And we're going to just layer on a whole bunch of that Black Templar. Like this, 
just avoiding that bone where possible. Just like that. Then we're going to wash the brush, grab some Griff Charger Grey, and then in amongst that, we're going to add some Griff Charger Grey like this. Just add a little bit of variation into the rock. And then once we've done that, we're then going to move on to the next rock because we kind of mixed it on the model. You should have a pretty cool looking color for the next rock. Like that, helps if you don't run your thumb over it. There we go. I'm gonna wash the brush, grab some black Templar, and come and do the next rock. Like so. the Griff Charge Grey. And so on and so forth. So with that done, we're then going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply this over top of all the bones. There's quite a few bones. And similarly to earlier, we're going to take a little bit of blood for the blood god. And we're just going to add some little spatters of this. Here and there. So that all done, we're now going to finish it off by giving the brush, the base, not the brush, we're going to give the base a dry brush of, you guessed it, some Tyrant Skull.
So with the base complete, our Vargulf Courtier is now finished, and this guy is a bit of a beat stick. He's an absolute weapon on the battlefield. And he's really, really cool, and he's gross. He's not as strong as he once was, or at least versions of him once were, but he's still very, very good, and he makes a very good case for being in any fleshy to quartz army list. And not just because he's a sick model, well, mostly because of that. I mean, he is really, really very cool. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.